Tammy Bruce is back as this week's closer. Obviously, inflation is one of the main reasons Democrats are under pressure in these midterms, and rightly so, because their policies, especially the reckless spending, caused it. Now, we've said that many times. What we've never seen before is a leading Democrat saying it. But here it was earlier this week. Well, let me make it very clear. All of us are concerned about these rising costs, and all of us knew this would be the case uh, when we put in place this recovery program. Anytime you put more money uh, into uh, the economy, uh, prices uh, tend to rise. <laughs> oh, really? Now he tells us. No wonder Nancy Pelosi didn't want to talk about it this morning. And the fact is, is that uh, when I hear people talk about inflation, as I heard him there, we have to change that subject. Inflation is a global phenomenon. phenomenon. Hear that, Tammy? Nancy's orders. Change the subject. Change, change the subject. Look, uh, Clyburn, I, I thought it was Putin. I thought it was Putin's price hike. <laughs> exactly. What happened there? I thought it was the Saudis. I thought it was Trump. No, but no, it's not. None of that was true, was it? All of that was also a lie like everything else. For Nancy Pelosi, I want to assure her I agree with her. Something is going to change, and it's not going to just be a subject. It's going to be her job and the job of scores of other people in Washington and locally in this country uh, because Americans are tired. That is a woman who, it's a subject, right? It's rhetoric. It's, it's, a, it's marketing yes, for their own jobs. Yes. She does, if she, I don't think she shops for herself. But if she does, she doesn't hear the numbers. Just for ice cream. Because, yeah, she doesn't have a budget. This is a woman worth I don't, tens of millions, I think over $100 million. Their lives uh, are, are completely disconnected from our lives. We are collateral damage. And when you think about what they've said, this is really about they had to destroy the village in order to save it. That's what Clyburn was yeah. saying. We knew this was going to happen, he said. Oh, well, because, yeah. you, you know, this is what Americans, you know, they, they dismiss us as zombies and then they're shocked when they find out we're real people. And that is what's got to happen. This transcends party lines, partisanship, color, uh, gay, straight, man, woman, uh, whatever. It means that Americans are realizing these people know what they've done and they don't care. And, and we've got it just like the people earlier in the show, these, these new candidates, they, they, they clutch their pearls, but they have no experience. Thank God. Thank God people who yeah. have learned how to run their own lives and their own businesses are deciding, I can do this better than the powers that be. Nancy Pelosi, change the subject. Okay, honey, it's not going to be you anymore, and it's not going to be Liz Cheney. <laughs> it's not going to be any of It's not going to be Swalwell and everybody else running around. Uh, uh, complaining about us and calling us, you know, neo-Nazis or semi-fascists or, you know, whatever it is. I don't know what even, how do you be, a, how are you a semi-fascist? I don't even know what that means. I know, but, but all the it, it's a, so this is what Americans understand. Their lives are being destroyed and it's being handled like it's some kind of bad reality TV show. Enough is enough. November 8th, uh, it's going to be a glorious day. Vote. Exactly right. That's what I think. It's got to be a total repudiation of these people because they've just been gaslighting. I mean, there he just so casually, oh, yeah, right. of course, you know, you put more money and you get inflation. Sure, what right. are we going to But the, the, the anger, you know, the, the rage which they push back when everyone else says that. Just like, oh, of course, if you open the border, you get more people. Of course, if you wage war on energy, um, you get less reliable energy and higher prices. I mean, all these things that were so obvious and, to and the you rest know, Steve, of us, and they if denied. You let, if you don't put anybody in jail, crime goes up. All of these exactly. things are unforced errors. They are the result of policy, of decisions that have been made, and we can yes. change it by changing the people who've been making the decisions. It is a stark reality, and uh, it's got to be a strong uh, rejection in order for them to understand yes, it, exactly because they're right. in their own little worlds right now, uh, and we're going to get them out of that. That's exactly right. It has to be a strong, strong repudiation. I totally agree with that because they've been completely captured by the far left. They think they can sort of do all this and it won't matter. The real world consequences doesn't matter. It's just the ideology. Mm -hmm. And they need to get the message That's because right. we all want a reasonable, responsible Democratic Party. Correct. So that you can have a real conversation about real issues, not this ridiculous ideological virtue signaling, um, regardless of the real world consequences. That's where they've ended up and they need to be punished for it. They Tammy do. Bruce, always fantastic to see you. Yeah.